Hi everyone, Liz here. Thanks for stopping by. So I've got a very long thin box here and yeah, it only just fits on my desk. So I think we may have to uh, go to a different room to show the uh, full extent of this, but I just want to unbox it and show you. Uh, yeah, it arrived last week and because I'd lost my voice and because I was feeling the uh, I decided to leave it and it's been very, very difficult because I'm so excited to open this one and see what it is. Uh, yeah, I was contacted by a new to me company called Mycraft Joy and uh, they asked if I would like a custom diamond painting uh, and to join their affiliate programme. And I thought, oh, well, yeah, I like custom diamond paintings. I've not had one for a while. So, yeah, let's see, see what it's yeah. like. Full disclosure, if you use my link, which I'll put down below, I don't get 15% commission on it so thank you if you do if you don't want to use it that's fine as well any commission or anything that I do get just goes back into the channel and giveaways and things like that so yay but uh, yeah this looks like a biggie it took about two weeks to come so it's uh, pretty good delivery times as well and they do do a lot of different sizes so let's get into this it's been really really difficult having this parcel sat while i've not been feeling brilliant uh wanting to open it <laughs> you know when you're not feeling great and you just think i just want something to cheer me up and this parcel's been sat in the corner saying hello come and open me come and open me i was like no i'm gonna wait and i'm gonna unbox it and uh, yeah it's something that hubby doesn't understand he's like you've got a parcel over there that you've not opened and i said no and he said, why aren't you opening it i said because i want to do it on camera and he said we don't have to do anything on camera and i said oh i do everybody likes to see what i'm getting <laughs> so it's come well packaged um plenty of tape on it so it was never going to escape out of here so let me get into this and it's in a box as well so fingers crossed the box has done its job which it looks like it's in very good condition so it should be okay right let's just get this off here and now then let's have a look oops so, so it's just this one's just a plain box uh, yeah, keeps the mystery going a little bit longer. Quick peek inside the box there. Oh, it's nicely rounded and not got a tube or a boot or anything on it to crease it. So that's great. So let's get this one out. Oh, oh. See, they actually said to me, if you send us two pictures, uh, then we'll send you one. So I don't know which picture they've actually chosen to do the custom. So let's see. Oh, I do know now which one it is though. Oh, this is going to be fantastic. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. <laughs> Nicely scalloped edge. And I think you'll all like this one as well. It will be a picture you have seen before. So let us have a look. <laughs> look wow it's huge okay <laughs> oh look it's millie and lottie lou <laughs> oh wow so does it tell us what size this one is it is an 80 by 60 oh my goodness look at the girls look at the girls and it's the christmas one oh wow as i say they did say can you send us uh, two pictures and um we'll we'll send you one of them so i didn't know which one i was going to get but look at that oh wow i'll take it in the other room and put it on the bed um and then we'll do uh, some close-up filming so that you can see everything i will say though this is an exceptionally clear drill field this is marvellous and the size of it and if you can see there look all the different shading on Millie look at that look how clear that is that looks really photographic that is marvellous and look at all the outsides there so let's see what oh we've got oh 
gosh it's all bagged up ready to go as well look at all those drills this one is 48 colors wow oh now we've got, this is a piece of like uh, parchment or grease proof paper so you can work on one section at a time so they even include that for you oh we've got a big piece of wax there and it's the red wax oh it's four little pieces look sorry in a big piece so they've done that so that you can cover over the bit you're working on okay so that's all the gems it looks like a nice toolkit i oh, can't believe this this is marvelous i love it oh my goodness <laughs> his nose look at the details on this did i get round or did i get a square let me have a look it's a round one as well so okay my mission should i choose to accept it is get this picture done for christmas yes sounds like a plan they've done this in a lovely big size so that all of the detail of those dogs faces the noses the eyes and everything is going to show up because obviously they are two black dogs. It's very, very difficult to photograph black dogs in the first place because you've got to try and get light on the face. Otherwise, they just look like a big black mass. But then to turn it into a diamond painting, you do need a big picture to get all that detail, all that fur in it. But yeah, oh, that is just stunning. Okay, so I've come into uh, the bedroom now so I can pop it on the bed because this is probably about the biggest place I've got to show you. So that is a full picture. That is just absolutely wonderful. Say 48 colours in round. Look at the little paws at the bottom. <laughs> yeah, this was uh, Christmas before last, I think, when Lottie came to stay and, uh, yeah, dressed the girls up. And Millie's not very happy. And Lottie just poses. She's such a poser. And I love this photograph. Um, I've half a mind to turn it into a Christmas card. But now I'm going to be able to bring it out every Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's absolutely wonderful. Yeah, they're both in the little Christmas outfits. <laughs> it's brilliant. So drill field. Let's have a look at this very very clear even with my eyes this is going to be really nice to do look at that and with it being poured glue which is wonderful i know a lot of the customs i've had in the past have actually been uh, double-sided tape which i've not liked particularly but this is gorgeous poured glue yeah we've got a lovely scalloped edge which is very pretty. I do love the scalloped edges. I do think it makes it look more luxurious. Um, but I do chop them off, so. <laughs> so, yeah, we've got uh, 80 by 60 centimetres there. We will give it a quick measure. The paper is in uh, different sections as well, which is good. Which I suppose having one great big cover sheet that size would be quite difficult. Um, let me have a look at the symbols. So I can't see anything too scary with the symbols. We've got numbers 1 to 8 are 1 to 8, which is a big tick because I hate it when you get number 1, there's number 6 and things like that because my brain doesn't cope with things like that. Got your little thumbnail at the top look as well. <laughs> so yeah, it may be a while before we find out how this turns out, but so far everything is looking wonderful. Yeah, so that looks pretty good. And we've got the My Craft Joy there. Look at the bottom. So if you want to go and check them out, as I say, if you use my link, I do get a little bit of commission. We've got a little bit of crinkling there as it's been pushed into the box. But, I mean, that's not a problem whatsoever. It's poured glue, so that's just going to flatten anyway. And uh, that's the edging, which I will be cutting off. It's a very soft, like a mole skinny felty type uh, canvas it does need flattening out a little bit because obviously it's gone a long way uh, so i will be putting it under something heavy i have got um an a2 folder which i'll probably put it in that and then just put it under my mattress and it'll just uh, flatten it out completely but once this is fully covered it will just flatten anyway with it being poured glue and with it being a softer canvas then yeah once the weight of the drills goes on it it will be fab i will have to get a proper frame for this one though because obviously it's going to be quite heavy in fact very heavy with all the drills on <laughs> 
so yeah but look at those faces and the outfits the colors i would say have come out really well as well we've got the contrast of the settee that they were sat on the uh, three-piece suit that was sat on we've got the white of the um little pom-pom there which is Millie's little Santa hat there. Um, and then the reds, we've got all the different colours in the reds. And then the red and the white. The white's looking pretty good as a contrast to the beige, which can be quite difficult to do as well. And then these are actually my, actually my Scotty Starry Night cushions that are either side of them. You can just see the Scotty's tail there, look. <laughs> so, yeah, we've got a little bit of artistry in the background as well. But isn't that just absolutely fabulous? Uh, and I made a Liz mistake, a classic Liz, thinking that there was just one piece of parchment paper. We've got loads, look. So we'll be able to cover the whole of the canvas with the parchment paper, which, yay! Uh, so you don't even need to do that. So literally, um, if you were new to diamond painting, uh, I wouldn't recommend doing one this size as a brand newie uh, unless you're really, really adventurous, but you will get addicted. So, yeah, <laughs> uh, you will want more. Uh, but, yeah, it's literally everything you need to diamond paint. You've got your pen, you bought your wax, you've got your cover sheets for your, uh, for your diamond painting. So what you would do is take off the clear cover um, and just replace it with one of these now be careful which side you use just in case they're not double-sided i've not used this before i tend to use the white sheets um that are like double-sided so uh, i would just maybe test one of those out as to which side goes on you don't want to put them all over your canvas and find the stuff i think actually feeling that now that feels as though it's like waxy on both sides so you may be okay but obviously just double check it and i tend to do a section that's half that size i would i tend to find if i do one that's like that size half of that size like a six by four takes about two hours to do so a piece of uh, paper that size i think you're looking at about four hours um maybe you've diamond paint faster than me maybe you diamond paint slower than me but that's sort of the average time that i found that it takes to do one of uh, these so yay absolutely wonderful oh those faces are wonderful this is just marvelous thank you so much my craft joy uh, i love this i love that you chose this one for me to do because i've now got 12 months well 11 months because we're at the end of january to get this one done for christmas yay right now then let's see if i can do a measurement right so um, I can't hold the tape measure and pull it out and do this at the same time. But yeah, we are roughly within a couple of millimetres uh, and it's not quite flat because it's on the bed. Uh, 80 centimetres that way, so it is true to size. 80 centimetres is about 31 inches. So yeah, it's, it is true to size and uh, 60 centimetres, sorry, yeah, 60 centimetres is about 23 inches so it is a huge size painting oh wow sorry i've got a bit of glare on it now but yeah look at that oh and it's so personal as well now as i say the thing they've done with this one is to make the faces big now if you are wanting to do human faces they need to be big as well otherwise you're just going to get a splodge so it's a case of the bigger the better um, and they do do lots of sizes so i'll go back to my desk and we'll have a little chat about sizes okay so we've got 24 of these sheets which should cover at least the whole of this picture which is wonderful as i say i, I will probably cut these in half i will use them and i will we will do a kitting up because i don't think no. a while to do then I'm going to actually kit this up into little bottles. I think that will be the best thing for me to do. I know you can work from your baggies. And I mean, it's, it's all packed up, ready to go, which is marvellous. So you don't even need to buy anything else. You literally can just use what's here, which is great. But yeah, I'm uh, actually going to kit this one up so I can have my case and I can just get my case out and maybe just do a section a day or whatever um, I can do, which, yeah, and I intend to get this one done. I might even start doing whip and chats and we'll work on this one together. We'll see. We'll see how it works out. I'm trying not to plan too much these days because every time I make plans, it just something seems to happen. Life seems to get in the way. <laughs> 
so yeah 24 of those yeah typical is sees one and thinks oh we've just got one well that's fine because you can just you know work along it and just put one down work that piece and then put it on the next part and um, which i will show you when i kit up um but yeah of course the company sent us more than we need which is wonderful okay let's have a look at the toolkit so it's above a standard toolkit and we did get that extra piece of wax, wax so we've actually got six squares of wax which is very good okay oh oh they're good tweezers right so yep that's your wax we've got a little flat bottomed white boat with uh, your ridges in and your little spout so as i say there is everything actually to do this painting um obviously i like to work from a bigger tray so i will get my big tray out not my huge tray uh but my bigger tray <laughs> but, uh, we've got curved tweezers in black oh they're good so they look uh, quite a good tweezer and one up from the standard silver ones that are very bendable so that's good and actually i quite like that idea as well these are really good for uh, picking up you know if you've got those little teeny tiny gems um when you're doing special dry, drill diamond paintings and things as well. Just let me grab a drink, we'll be a second. I have still got a sore throat, but I have got my voice back, so yay. <laughs> right, so that's that one. Um, we've got a sparkly pen, a clear sparkly pen, which I like to fill up with gems if I'm using them. Uh, the old style three play set, which is fine. And your single placer. So you've got plenty there to do your kit. And then we've got all the gems. Right, so the size of this one, as I say, is 80 by 60. So let me have a look. I've printed out the different sizes that they do. I will put it on the screen as well. Uh, um, I'll put the link for the Minecraft Joy. If you go to the page, then you will be able to see the prices. They start from £21. Uh, at the moment, there is 43% off. So a 20 by 25 which is an 8 by 10 which is a fairly like a school photograph but I would suggest if you are getting something like that unless the whole of the 8 by 10 is one face then I wouldn't get one that small for a face uh, you do need bigger paintings and they go from as I say 25 by 25 right up to 100 by 100 which is 39 centimeters by 39 centimeters and they do come in square and round as well so that is your different ones I'll put on the screen uh, the price of this one uh, so this is a 60 by 80 so it is 24 by 31 uh, 24 inches by 31 inches which is what we measured so the true to size as well which is excellent now they also do this which i was even more excited about when i looked on the website so you can get your multi-paneled diamond paintings now that is great starting at 56 pounds uh, again this the money off look it's normally 112 they do do photo enhancing uh, oh there's a lifetime diamond spill insurance as well so if you spill some of your gems then if you get in contact with them it sounds as though they will replace those gems so that is wonderful okay i'm not sure how many of they would do or what that involves i'll see if i can look into that a little bit more i've only just spotted that as i'm reading i'm just so excited to get into this packet i couldn't wait <laughs> So they do small, medium, large and extra large. So if you're wanting to do like the multi-panelled paintings, um, if you've got, say, a wonderful scene, if you've been somewhere fantastic on your holidays or you've just got a picture that you absolutely love, then you can spread it out across your wall in your middle larger painting, then two smaller ones and then two smaller ones again at either side. And I love that idea. So I'm definitely going to be hunting through my photographs now. Uh, one of my favourite places in the world is the Lake District in the UK and uh, I've got some beautiful scenery pictures from there so that would be wonderful you know having all the mountains and the lake in the bottom going all the way across and um, it just gives it that extra little bit of depth and interest rather than just having a flat painting so yeah that's the two different lots that they do obviously they are a diamond painting company as well so they do have other diamond art products as well but uh, yeah these are the things they have got at the moment uh yeah we've got 
diamond painting kits, tools, stretcher bars, spare diamonds, gift cards and all sorts. So yeah, do go and check them out, as I say. And let's have a look at these gems now. Oh, oh like I can say, I've had to leave it this way around because I just want these two little happy faces looking at me while I'm diamond painting. Because they do both come, uh, when Lottie comes to stay with us, they do both come and sit in here with me. As you've probably seen, if you've been with me a while, you'll have seen the two pooches uh, come and join me in my craft room. Millie has uh, just gone downstairs because the postman's around somewhere outside. So she's going to uh, say hello to the postman. She doesn't bark. She she likes anybody. She likes any company. So I'm definitely having a Liz day today. Uh, just got a telephone call in the middle of filming. And this voice says to me, hello, is that Joanne? I said, no, I'm sorry, you've got the wrong number. And she says, well, is Joanne there then? I said, no, sorry, you've got the wrong number. Well, this is Joanne's number. I said, no, I think you'll find it's not. <laughs> so you end up having this five minute conversation trying to convince somebody that they've got the wrong telephone number. <sighs> anyway, maybe it's just me. <laughs> let me just uh, get this off here so we have two packs of diamonds and this one has an inventory sheet in it so let's have a look at this okay my craft joy instructions oh very good so follow these simple steps to complete your diamond painting with ease so refer to the table of con table oh dear i'm making up words now not a good sign <laughs> Yeah, refer to the table or on the canvas to identify each diamond and it just literally takes you through how to diamond paint. So, yeah, we've got uh, DMC codes, which we love our DMC codes. And we have the quantity of each gem. So which one have we got the most of? Have a look. It looks like 948. We've got 5000. Is that the highest number? yep that's the highest number and it also gives you the weight as well so if you wanted to work out how how much say 10 or 100 gems weighs you can just divide it into these uh, and it'll let you know so yeah not 0.6 grams look is 105 gems so that's sort of a, a thing to go on if you aren't going to count your gems i've never sat and counted gems i have to say um, i don't have some little teeny tiny scales to weigh them on though uh so yeah that's just a way of if you uh, wanting to say substitute a colour out, um, if you're wanting to put say an A, B into it or if you're wanting to put a crystal into it, it's just to give you a guide as to what uh, your weight is if you then want to substitute some out. So yeah, just a, just an idea there. And then at the bottom here, which is interesting, did you know you can now hang your diamond painting with these? Our canvas stretcher bars are the ideal DIY, DIY way to stretch and hang your new 5D diamond painting. Yeah, it gives you your stretch about diamond painting uh, details there and everything. Sorry, this is just as I've printed this out so that I can uh, have a look. So I don't forget to say anything. So no gluing is required. Um, they're constructed from kiln-dried pine and feature pre-cut interlocking corners that fit tightly together. No gluing is required. In the assembly of the stretcher bars, hang your diamond painting the easy way. Ooh, so yeah, you will need to fasten it to your canvas, I believe. I mean, that's really what canvases are designed to do. I know I use the magnetic frames a lot and I buy picture frames, but really a canvas is made as like a picture or a painting to be stretched onto your bars and put up that way so yeah i may do that for this one we may have a go at doing that we'll see how we get on and see what i feel like at christmas <laughs> actually i'm just thinking i normally put all my christmas stuff out beginning of december so i've actually only got 10 months to do this one so what i'm going to do then i will do a kitting up video as i say i'll put it into 10 um sections and i'm going to make sure that i do one section now each month so it'll be february to november i will do one section at least each month so that by december this one will be done and i am going to get it done that is a plan uh yeah <laughs> watch this space as i say plans don't always go to plan as it were <laughs> oh look at those little faces so let's have a quick look at the gems right so number 31 oh Oh, right, so we've got um, a code number on here as well. Yeah, we've got Luca there. So I'm thinking 
So we've got a kind of reference number. So we've got Luca there. So I'll know that this one belongs with that one. Um, yeah, and we've got that on those, the gem packet there as well is the number that's on there. So yeah, you can put them together if you do get muddled up anywhere, which is good. But as I say, I am going to kit this one up. So that's a really big bag. Right. So let's start. We'll start off with the teensies. Uh, that's five, six, four, two, three, that's 28. Uh, 24, so just talk amongst yourselves while I just sort these out a moment. That's a 40, that's a 40. It's a long time since I've looked at a painting that's got this amount of colours in it. Wow, it's a biggie for me, but I am going to do it. As I say, they do intimidate me, big paintings, but I think if I just set myself the task of doing one section a month, so now I've got a month to do that section, then uh, I'll know what I'm doing and uh, yeah it's not going to intimidate me quite so much it's just when I look at big paintings I tend to think oh, I've got all that to do I must get it done I must get it done and I've got to stop that I've got to uh, work on that I've got to be able to walk away from things I am a lot better than I was when I was younger I used to just about make myself ill doing things I would just do things and do things and do things and be up all night doing things and you know, as I've got older I've learned not to do that quite so much but it is still there in me I am still that person that doesn't like to leave anything unfinished and finds it very difficult to walk away from half-finished projects. But, uh, yeah, so this is good for me as well. It's, it's teaching me, no, walk away, Liz, you're okay. You don't need to do it all now. <laughs> this is great. I'm just, uh, yay, gorgeous colours. Uh, that's number 30. Right. And they all look very nice gems as well. I've not seen any sort of dust or trash or anything in any of these bags, which is marvellous. So that's number seven, number 11, number 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, Apologies to that person that got them all nice and neatly packed, ready for coming. Okay, so, right, let's have a look at the uh, under 10s first. And we'll put these in order. So we have, oh, look at number one. Gorgeous colour. And number two. Oh, is that 154? Yes, it is. Good old 154. Yeah, it seems to be fairly standard on a lot of the uh, animal paintings that I do. It's a brilliant sort of shading without being too dark, but not standing out as like a bright purple or anything on your canvas. And number three is a blue. And number four, we're back to salmon pink. Oh, that's a very fat little packet look. That one's a Liz packet. I look like that. <laughs> Five is your three ten black, so we've got a few colours before uh, the black one. And six is a dark grey. Seven is your beautiful red. And eight is a blue. And then number nine there, three four nine. Oops. Oh, that's number thirty one. So that's nine colours. We'll pop that. We'll do the bigger bag first. And once this one's full, in fact, I might get them all in here. I don't know. <laughs> we'll see how we go. So then, oh, there's number 10 and number 11. And where's number 12? Oh, there's number 12. Look, trying to escape at the top there. 12, 13, 14, 15. 16, 17, 18, 19, and that one's number 38 to go over there. So it's always better to check. I know um, if you're anything like me, I tend to get diamond paintings and then put them away and sometimes they don't get done. I've got some diamond paintings that are over two years old. <gasps> yeah, I must get those done. Um, but you don't want to be doing that if you've got, say, particularly a custom or a painting that's uh, got a lot of colours, you really need to be checking your inventory and just make sure you have got all of your colours because you don't want to be in two years' time going to a company and saying, oh, I've got this colour missing. <laughs> 
or getting halfway through your painting and finding that you're missing a colour. Uh, no, that's not good either. So, yeah, this is always worth just double checking. Uh, so, these look really, really nice drills. They've got 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. Oh, there's number 20 look as well. Did I not have 20? Oh, no, I only went up to 19, didn't I? Oh, dear, Liz. Got a brain, you'd be dangerous. Where was I now? 25, 26, 27. 28, 29. Excellent. Okay. Oh, <laughs> All right. Okay. Oops, sorry about that. I'm trying not to sniff as well. Uh, 30. 31 is a big bag. 32 is a little bit smaller bag. And 33. Where are we? 33. <laughs> 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39. Shall I put, no, I'll put these in the other one. I will put these in the other one because I don't want to uh, end up splitting the bag or anything. So let me see. It's 42, there you are. Oh, 3799. Ooh, that's sort of a I don't know whether that's like a really dark grey. I think it's a bluey colour, actually. Yeah, okay. So, where are we? Where are we? At 41. Oh, 40, 41. 42. 43. 44. 45. 46. 47. 48. So, all present and correct. Okay, so I've come back in here just to have one final look at this huge painting. Absolutely love it. Uh, yeah, I think it's going to be one of my biggest. I do have, I think I might have another one that's a 40 by 60. Uh, but yeah, this is just... <laughs> wonderful quality very impressed good delivery time uh nice kit as well the uh, paper is a really good touch all in baggies so if you like working from your baggies you now have your choice as i say because this one i'm going to do it over the year it is going to be uh, kitted up uh in some little bottles a good tool kit and uh, a nice little inventory sheet there as well but yeah who could resist those two little faces looking at you santa's little helpers <laughs> Okay, well, as I say, huge thank you, my craft joy, for sending me this. Um, I love it, and uh, yeah, I can't wait to get started on it. I will need to kit it up, so there will be a kitting up video coming on this one as well, and we will work on it together, most probably. Uh, as I said, I don't tend to plan, plan too far in advance because things tend to happen, but anyway. <laughs> okay so i hope you've enjoyed this uh, unboxing video do go and check out mycraftjoy.com as i say i'll put my affiliate link down below and the website link as well so you're quite welcome to use my link as i say i do get a commission if you do use it if you don't want to use it that's fine as well and if you've enjoyed the video as always a thumbs up is very much appreciated any comments or questions in the comments down below and i'll get back to you as soon as i can and if you want to join our little family and come and work on this with us and see what we get up to next, then if you press that subscribe button down in this corner and the all notifications bell that pops up, you'll be notified when any of my videos come up. So you're not going to miss anything. Yay! I'm doing this one-handed, so it's only one thumb today. <laughs> okay, thanks ever so much for stopping by and I do hope to see you all again soon. Bye for now.